here I am in a piece of software called Brackets, and I'm going to make myself a new file so that I can work on creating web page. So I'll say File New, and then I'm going to save this right away because if I don't, it won't do um, some color hinting to sh help me figure out what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just sending this to my desktop. You should send it to a folder you've created for your projects. So I'm just going to call this demo.html, which is the file extension that we give to web pages. I'll say save. And now I can type in this interface. Um, it will automatically put these little line numbers on the left-hand side for me so I can keep track of where I am and, and uh, notice various things that are happening. So the first piece of any web page is what's called the document type definition. So um, it's the word doc type with that little exclamation point in front of it. And just like I made my file extension .html, my document type for a web page is HTML. And that tells any piece of software that accesses my page immediately what kind of file it's getting. So it's getting an HTML file. The next thing I need to do is actually start my page itself. And the set of tags, which is what we call these things inside brackets, that surrounds any web page is HTML. And you'll notice that brackets, this piece of software I'm using, has automatically created the closing tag. So for most tags in HTML, there's a starting tag and a closing tag. Um, there's a few exceptions, but if there is a closing tag, um, brackets will type it in for me, so it'll help me out a little bit. Um, so everything else is inside of my page. You'll notice that this software just made an indent for me. It wants to sort of visually show that everything else is contained within my HTML tags. So the next thing that I'll add in is what's called the head section of the page. Um, so it's just a tag head. And you'll notice again, it made the closing tag for me. And anything we put in the head section does not actually show on the page itself but might give some more information to the browser that's accessing it, or it might display elsewhere. So for example, um, I'm gonna put in a title tag in a second, and that's going to cause the title that appears in the top bar of any browser to say what the title of my page is. But I'm actually gonna start with a different um, tag right here, which is meta, and then I'm gonna put in char set, and you'll see that brackets is helping me by suggesting things, and UTF, Eight. Um, this is saying I'm using a particular, it's almost like a font set um, that kind of defines what symbols are allowed in my page. And so I include that. Um, this is one of those special tags that does not have an opening and a closing tag. It just is one. And you'll notice if it's just one tag with no closing tag, it actually closes itself with a little slash at the end before the bracket is closed. Um, anything that we mark with meta is providing just additional information to the browser. It's not going to display anything in particular. And um, I forgot a minute ago that I want to actually add an attribute into my HTML tag here. And I want to let this page know that the primary language that I'm using is English, um, which the code is EN. Um, if you were composing a web page that it was predominantly French or predominantly Spanish or something like that, um, you can choose a different country code here. But for my purposes, uh, this page is going to be in English. Okay. Um, now I'm back inside my head. I'm going to add another tag, and I'm going to add this title tag. And again, this is the text that will appear in the browser bar, which I'll show you in just a second. So this will be my page title. Whatever I type in between these two tags here, so right here, this is what's going to appear up in the browser bar. I'm real quick just going to add the next part of my page, which is the body. Um, you'll notice, hilariously, just like with you and most other humans or and most other animals, basically, um, the head sits on top of the body. Anything that goes in the body will be the stuff that actually displays on the page. But I want to show you where this title shows up before we go any further. So I'm going to click this little uh, lightning bolt here. It's going to give me a live preview of what I'm working on. I'm going to open a browser, and it's going to show me what I've got. And... Um, There it is. Okay. So now, whenever I drag this over here, 
whenever I put something on the body, it should show up over here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to add a paragraph to my body. And the tag for paragraphs is P. And I'm going to say hello there. This is my web page. Oops. Be nice if I spelled it right. And when I save, this is updated over here in the browser. So you'll notice that the stuff that I put in the body in this paragraph tag is right here on the page. And the things that I put in between these two title tags appears up here um, on the browser tab. If I was using Internet Explorer, it would appear up here in the blue bar. So that is basically the simplest web page that you can possibly make um, and still have all the, the required information to make this work.